Yim Tin Zai is a small island in Port Shelter, not too far from Saigon Town Center. It was settled by the Hakka people around 300 years ago and most famous for the Catholic Church and soap hands. The island has been abandoned in 1997 and only recently been revitalized and opened to visitors on the weekend. So hello, welcome back to Laugh Travel E. Today we are going to Yim Tin Zai. So this is an island in Saigong that has been uninhabited since 1997. But recently they're doing a lot of revitalization project and currently it's the art festival. So we're here just to sightsee as a weekday with still lots of people, but hopefully we can get to everywhere we want. It's best to take the official Yim Tin Zai Salt Lake Preservation Center Kaido at the Saigong Seafront. You can check the schedule online, but it's best to arrive early as it is quite popular. It costs us 60 Hong Kong dollars returns and includes the 20 Hong Kong dollar exhibition rooms admission. Remember to keep your tickets. You can also kayak there, then pay the 20 Hong Kong dollars if you want to see the exhibits. The ride is about 20 minutes and you are required to get a temperature check on arrival. So we are waiting to go into the soap pan. Uh, they have a restriction, so we're just waiting to be let in, which is great. So they only open about five sessions per day, so you have to time it. It's a much shorter walk than expected from the pier to the soap pan and well signpost. We passed by the restaurant, cafe, some abandoned houses, then went down the stairs to the right and into the end of a queue. The soap pan has plenty of information with several big pools. So the soap pan is not as big as I thought, but uh, they actually do make salts here, but because of the um, climate in the summer and the heavy rain, it hasn't been really successful. So there's a nice staff here and a nice staff there who explained the process to us. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So the gate opens during extreme high tide to let the water in. It then goes through the three step evaporation pools and then slowly crystallize. Then it goes through several other pools. The staff members were super informative and I learned a lot. After our visit, we continue to the east side of the island. So from the soap pan, we're going straight to the um, Jade Bridge. I think maybe I'm missing word here. I'm going to put this here. Uh, so this is the bridge that connects from this uh, is Yam Yim Tin Zai to Khao Sai Zai, which is pretty cool because there's no jade on it whatsoever. We visited during the Yim Tin Zai Art Festival and saw plenty of cool artworks along the way, like this glass chapel and this scarecrows. The path to the Jade Girdle Bridge is relatively shaded and paved, but still pretty hot to walk on in the summer. It only takes us around 15 minutes or so to get there, I think. Okay, so the current name is Girdle J Bridge. So in Chinese, it's Yok Dai Q, but that's, it's just concrete and currently a lot of construction material, which is kind of a shame. There's also an exhibit that I thought was floating rubbish of uh, window frames, which is pretty interesting once I've read this. Yeah, I need to put the file of an appreciation for modern art. The window frames are pretty cool. I just really thought it was rubbish. We then went back to the split and went right uphill to the Twin Pavilions. So we're now at the Twin Pavilion, which is just a very regular pavilion. Oh my god. So they have a metal panorama board that is kind of blinding me. So you get a view of Shop Island, the mountain range around here, and back towards the church as well, and the other side. So it's pretty cool. Well, they to come here. So now we kind of wrapped up to the external portion. We're going to go back towards the church. So let's see. The view is definitely worth a visit with the Shop Island, the whole Kowloon Ridge towards Maan Shan and Saigong, and then back towards the church, and the other side is Khao Sai Zhao. Then we decided to take the big loop back and take the right turn, and the, aka the left turn, we face the pavilion to the next pavilion. So this is the round pavilion. It's just a short walk from where the twin pavilion is. Hi, Mama. So from here, we just walked across another well, and then we'll be back in the center. Mama Chan is a big fan of UV umbrellas, which was helpful, in case you can't tell. The trail on this part of the island is not that well signposted until we get back on flat ground, and we make a quick stop right to see a well. So this is a quick detour to see the Spring of Living Well. So previously, this is the only water source on the island for up to 200 people. How crazy is that? Okay, now finally, we are headed towards the church. 
From there, we went uphill to the old house of the friar. I think they did an excellent job of mixing modern art into an abandoned house and making it educational too. Look at this Roman numeral plaques and then the shadow cast on the ground. So because it's still the art festival, there's plenty of art installation in the houses. Down there and back there is the soap pan as well. So it ends on the 17th of July, but they might be hosting some other things soon, you know? We carried on and reached the old center of Yimtin Zaiwood Ferris Building, School and more cool art installations. So here we have two exhibition halls, there and there, and the church behind us. So uh, if you didn't go to the official place with the stickers, you have to pay $20 to enter, so this is why we got there. I do recommend going to the exhibits to learn about the Hakka life and the history of Yimtin Zai. The money goes towards maintaining them and the island too. There is another one by the pier which we loop back to see at the end. Then it's time to visit the St. Joseph's Church, which occupied the highest point of the land. The whole settlement of the island was baptized at the beginning of the 20th century and it still hosts Christmas service yearly. So this is the end of the Yimtin Zi trip. So people are queuing for the ferry back. I'm gonna go down soon. Oh, and all with all of the art festival, Yimtin Zi is absolutely worth a visit because of its heritage as one of the first Christian island with um, a church as well as a salt flat. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more vlogs.